You're probably wondering, did I shoot this video before or after my AFib attack? It is after. I contracted AFib again about four days ago, and of course I made a video of it. So it's linked in the description below. I talk about what happened during it, what happens the rest of the day, and what happened the day after. Setting that aside, let's talk about building leg muscle at home. Oh yes. Hey cycling community, this is Steve Grusis, the Cycling Greek. With Masters and Nationals for 2020 now being off the table because of COVID, I am now focusing on next year. Part of my focus is going to be on building leg strength, building leg muscle. There are two main reasons why I'm doing that other than building leg strength, to be stronger on the bike. The first is based on a video I made a little while back, and I'll have that linked in the description below, on the effects of aging on the older athlete. In it, I talk about how after a certain age, the VO2 max declines about 1% a year. I cited a study that if you factor out the effects of muscle loss, then that VO2 max is really only about a third of a percent per year. The second reason why I'm doing this is because of balance. Cycling is a linear sport. It doesn't have that explosive lateral movement as let's say basketball does. Basically, you're sitting on your butt and just going in one direction. Unless you're doing a lot of sprint work or big gear low cadence work, you're probably not building a lot of muscle. You may have noticed an older individual. Uh, they may all of a sudden turn one direction or the other or, or they uh, uh, lean down to go pick up something and they don't seem that steady. That's because they're trying to use muscles that they haven't used for a long time and those muscles have atrophied. You'll notice that when I'm demonstrating some of these exercises, I'm not that uh, steady. I'm a little bit shaky. And that's because of the muscle loss from just not using certain lateral type of um, muscle movements. So this program that I made for myself, I actually got from another YouTuber that I subscribe to, AthleanX, and I'll have his channel linked in the description below too. So it is uh, based on four separate movements, doing three sets of those, and each set, each of those movements is going to be different. The commonality is going to be the four categories of movements. I'm going to have an interior chain movement, posterior chain, explosive, and corrective. Now these movements can be done with or without weights. This first month, and I have about another week or so to go for this uh, first month of movements that I'm doing this, is all without weights. Now if this wasn't a COVID situation and I was in the gym, I'd be real tempted just to take a bunch of weights, stick them on my shoulders, and then go do some squats. If I did that, I would be crushed for about three or four weeks. And there's things that I want to accomplish on the bike now as part of my training for next year. Now, next month, I'm going to use very light weights and work my way up to this. And the month, uh, the month after, is going to be a few more weights. And then in about uh, three months, I should be good to go a lot heavier. This first set is going to be a uh, goblet squat, with or without a weight. So if I had a weight, I'd stick it here and I'd be doing a squat. Now the way I'm doing it, I'm doing 10 of each one of these. You can make a circuit out of this, but I need more rest between there, especially now with this recent AFib thing. So I'm just being a little more careful. So basically, I'm breaking the plane. Okay, so that was the anterior chain. Now for the posterior chain, I do a bridge march. If I had a weight, I would stick it right on my hips. Keep the body straight. Next is the explosive exercise. This one's going to be a body swing. Now picture myself having a weight, but I'm going to be doing it without weights. Some of these may seem silly to you right now, but they add up, especially this next one. It's called the Jane Fonda. Some of you that are older will remember this one. Corrective exercises like that and other that you've seen help me a lot. I've had some, uh, some pretty bad leg problems because of glute and hamstring problems. That was slowly going away, and then when I was doing these exercises, they started going away a lot faster. Now we're on set two. Starting off again with anterior chain. Reverse lunges. I'm actually improving on that one. I was a lot shakier before, and my balance was always off on it, and I'd have to actually catch myself on something. Now posterior chain. Sprinter's lunge.
Whew. I used to be shaky on that one too. This stuff works. Okay, explosive movement now. Jump squats. I only do these uh, twice a week, and twice a week is good enough for me. Oh, this is a tough one. This is the, and this is the corrective exercise. This is the adductor slide. And I still don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not. And that's another one where my balance was off when I first did this uh, three weeks ago. So down to the third set. For the anterior chain, it's going to be the never-ending squat. That's where you're doing a goblet squat, but you don't go all the way up. You just, you stay always in contraction. Okay, these, these are tough. This is going to be a challenge to my balance. It's hamstring RDL. RDL Romanian deadlifts. I'm doing a lot better with balance. You can still see how shaky I was, especially with the left leg. I was a lot worse three weeks ago. Explosive movement is going to be, it's called glute power RDL. As bad as I looked on that one, that's how a lot of the other exercises looked when I first did them three weeks ago. Okay, yeah, I can really feel that one. All right, last one is corrective. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's, uh, I just do it. Okay, that's my program. It is uh, end of July. Rather than just wait to do the things I need to do, I'm starting now. But I'm starting nice, slowly, and evenly. All right, I'm going to have uh, this program written in the description below, along with those other videos. Check those out too. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If I don't start working now for next year, then when? All right, comment, like, subscribe. It's Cycling Greek.